Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Bars and Barbells. I'm Phil. I'm Sam. Welcome and back, guys. Sam has welcomed you back. So we're welcoming you back to more Kiss today. We did Detroit Rock City. It was our first one. We did the studio track, Detroit Rock City, which is really cool. I really like that song. Yeah, it was good. Um, cool introduction to hear, I guess, you know, you guys are saying they're more hard rock than a metal sound. And uh, we, you know, got the musical uh, presence from them. Now we're going to get the performance presence from them. Yes, because, I'm excited uh, to see this. Because you guys were saying, you know, Kiss is not Kiss unless you see them perform. And this was a recommendation. You guys said the Midnight Special, what seems to be a popular recommendation, yeah, the Midnight Special. For a bunch of different grant groups or performers. Yeah, so um, let us know about the Midnight Special, where that kind of originated from, and uh, give us some insights on that. But uh, I'm excited to see what we're going to see from <laughs> kiss here and uh what it's going to sound like because With their this is, personas yes and uh what their sound is going to be like live so uh you ready to check it out yeah let's do it all right let's go So I can't believe they're like jumping around and stuff in these giant platform shoes. Like I would break my ankle. I don't have any experience with that personally, <laughs> so I can't elaborate. <laughs> I think the shoes, honestly, are a little bit too much for me. <laughs> it's a little bit scary. I mean, Gene Simmons looks like a friggin' ogre, man. <laughs> he's got, like, he's like, I don't know how tall he is initially, but with those yeah, things on, he tall. looks like he's like eight feet. Literally. It's wild. Yeah. Um, that's a little bit too weird for me personally. Like the 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 face paint and like the outfits eh, i can i can handle that but the the platform shoes a little bit too much a little bit too much for you just my personal opinion on yeah. that one clearly i'm from a different uh, generation so yeah um but uh they're performers through and through i can see oh, why you 100%. guys they're were, loving it like such great stage energy yeah i can see why you guys were saying we got to check out a performance from them because if you were at a concert i could totally see why they were you know super entertaining mm -hmm. to go and see live because you know it's it's interesting I was thinking about it because this is from 1976 or 74 or whatever we said, right? So um, it's so crazy that that's obviously like 50 years ago. Oh, yeah. And what they do for performances now, they've got, you know, people on stage, you got explosions, you got, you know, oh, light shows, yeah. all this other stuff, right? And so at the beginning, we had like a little bit of smoke pop out yeah. from them and it was their like dry performance, ice, right? Like 
Yeah, and that's the most that they give you from like the flashiness kind of thing. Maybe yeah. it's different. On a, you know, I think you guys have said they have like some blood or stuff in other shows where yeah. they're drinking fake blood and all that. Um, so I don't know if they're, we're going to get into Maybe any. Maybe some lasers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're going to get into any of that on this one. But uh, my point was I was going to get to was that you know, they're sh- doing the performance and the entertainment from what they're doing on stage yeah, it's them, all that. themselves, right? Yes. From moving with the guitars, going back and forth, playing on the guitar, showing the energy, you know, you know, with their creativity and their outfits, right? Rather than relying on nowadays, like I said, where it's, you know, it's, it's special effects. Yeah. It's all the glitz and the glamour and all that. So it's just yep. crazy. I had to see the, the transition of the performance aspect and what yeah. they were doing. And like they don't they even would, really have any like props or anything that's on what I'm stage saying. aside from just their name at the yeah, background. That, that's what I'm saying. Right. It's, it's vastly changed, but I think now we focus less on the music and more on the visuals, right? I'm still focusing on the music on this one. Yeah. And I'm being, if I'm being completely honest with you, like I am enjoying seeing them do their thing, but I almost find it distracting in that I can't appreciate the music. I love their first song that we did, like Detroit Rock City. I love the sound of that. So I feel like I'm appreciating Deuce a little bit less from the musical Cause standpoint because I'm so focused on, on the visuals. Yeah. Um, it's also obviously a little bit harder to hear because it's a live version and yes. it's a bit, you know, it sounds a pretty cool track overall. Like the bass is, you know, seems like it's really driving the song. Um, you know, it sounds, I, it's hard for me to take in the lyrics, but, um, you know, the vocals sound pretty cool as well. So mm-hmm. I do um, like his vocal and i think from what we were reading is that gene simmons wrote this one himself and uh it was actually derived from the bass originally he set like that riff down first and then they kind of composed the song around that yeah so i mean from yeah musically i'd like to kind of take that in a bit more but you know i am appreciating the visual component seeing them do their thing on stage you know providing the entertainment value so it's a different experience um and uh, I, I think this is a little bit different for us too, right? Because usually what we do is we'll listen to the studio version of the song first so mm-hmm. we understand what's yep. going to be coming. So I think that's probably why it's probably a little bit more overwhelming for us this time too because we haven't heard the studio version yet of this. Um, but I think that like, you know, for a, a band like this that, you know, so many people... They're, like, or they're renowned, like some people know them for their performances. Mm-hmm. It is really cool to get a feel for that. Like even though maybe yeah, you can't sure. hear the music as much, I think it's like, you know, good to get a better understanding of them as a whole. Yeah, for the historical context exactly. of why there's so much notoriety mm-hmm. for their performances, yeah. right? And their face I- paint just like kills me though. Well, looking <laughs> back now- demon. <laughs> looking back now, like I said in the last video that we did, I remember seeing Kiss on like posters and stuff like that. And it freaked me out when really? I was younger. Yeah. yeah, and I can totally see why, seeing them now, that it, why it freaked me out. Because like Gene Simmons, like I said, he's this big, super tall dude yeah. that's got this face he's paint like, on in all black. And you know what I'm saying? The and, leather tight. Yeah. Like, it almost like, yeah, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm saying in that I can, now that I reflect on my childhood, I'm like, yeah, I was probably in the right frame of mind to be kind of freaked out by these guys. Now that you're a little bit older, you could just appreciate the entertainment. And the creativity. Right. Or maybe if you were in your teenage years or early twenties or whatever, you would have appreciated that even more so. The rebellion of like the tight black leather and the demon face paint. (laughs) Yeah. Anyways, let's get back into the performance. We'll rewind it a little bit and uh, continue on. Choreography. 
That was pretty cool because I don't know if I've ever seen that where choreographed they're playing the guitar together because that's not easy right to be moving and playing the guitar yeah. all in sync while you're doing these chords yeah. and stuff Especially right when you're all doing different pieces of it right? yeah exactly yeah. right and you're so you're keeping the rhythm of your choreograph with the rhythm on the guitar yeah. at the same time right so you also had a little bit of the extra special effects there at the end with the flames yeah had some flames coming out yeah. and uh also like i'm extremely impressed with their jumping and their right? dance moves i could not you do stu- that you stuck that landing pretty yeah, well yeah i there, right? i could not do that so Oh, well, you'll never see me finding out about that. I'm just saying, but, uh, you're going to see me trying to practice in the bedroom. I'm going like, to roll my ankle. <laughs> yeah. If you see uh, some crutches in the background, you know what happened. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed our reaction to kiss deuce on the midnight special. It was cool to check out. Like I said, the historical context from that yeah. and see the transition over it's 50 also years. It's kind of cool to see them all in their, their characters, right? Cause yeah. they're all different. So, yeah. but maybe we'll have to check out the studio version. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, hit the like button. If you did, leave us a comment, let us know your thoughts, anything we commented on that you want to elaborate on, please yeah. do educate us. We love learning on this channel and we're grateful for all of you guys as subscribers yes. because this channel would not be where it is without you so thank you and uh, all you got to do is come back and check out our next video now we'll see you then thanks for watching guys see you next time